Ok, ok, Walsh is going to wait for it. Vamos a esperar, ahorita solo somos un par. Ok. Ajá, no vas a dijiste que porque no me gusta. Marsh is fine right now. There you go, Mauricio six. Okay, well, there you go. We have it ready. Okay, I guess that we're going to start right now. Where's your seven? Hey, there you go. Vamos con siete, siete. Okay, good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Let's hold on here. There you go. Okay, I don't know why the rest of the guys, they don't come yet. No sé por qué no viene. That well. Um, just let me take a look on this. Okay, I'm just going to show my screen. Alguien se logró tomar una foto con Luisito Comunica. No. No, y creo que nadie sabe qué es Luisito Comunica. Bueno, sí, la chica. No, sí. yo no pude. No, sí. No, teacher. ¿Pudiste? ¿Quién pudo? No, yo no me he tomado foto con él. Ah, ¿tú sí sabes quién es? Sí. Sí, las niñas sí. Oh, I did it. Yo sí me la tomé y hice lo imposible para ver a mis sobrinitos. No tienen idea qué odisea fue eso. Preguntar todos los contactos. Pero lo hicimos. <laughs> yeah. Ok, let's go to see. Pero si querían, ¿verdad? ¿Va a venir otra vez? En sí, fin. no. <laughs> ok. Ok, uh, para los que no saben, Luisito Comunica es un youtuber. Um, he usually do videos about many different things. Uh, when he travels um, and he was traveling here to Central America or better say yes in Latin America so he wanted to visit El Salvador and in fact I, I don't know 
he was like sur surprised. He, he did a, an interview to the president and he was very impressed that how people love the president because they are selling many things about Mr. Naive. So I don't know what was the impression of Luisito, but va a aparecer en los videos. That's hard. Para quienes seamos la verdad del país. But well. Okay, guys. So um, let me just take a look on this. Let's going to listen. We're going just to see something that is called conjunctions. Okay, so please pay attention. Let me see if I'm just sharing the sound. Uh, yes, short sound. There you go. It's not too crowded, though. Hold on. He's really. After. What happened here? I. I... I don't know what happened. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. Yes. I do apologize. So, okay. Let's refresh it. The website. Y más que esa señora me da miedo con los ojos y los dientes. I do. I do. Have, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He used to get a qué pena. <laughs> <laughs> it's not too crowded though okay he's really good looking he's not nice however okay guys can you write one sentence using though and another one using and do it in a discussion box you may follow our examples as a guide. Okay, I do apologize for this. Okay. After the explanation, no, yes. we want you to practice. So please stay with us. Conjunctions. It's an exciting city. And First of all, guys, let me tell you something. It says that we're going to see four conjunctions. These four conjunctions are in, but, so, and however, okay, and it significa un y, okay. The other one it says but it means pero, pero, so, aunque, and however, sin embargo, okay. Ya lo vamos a ver, ya vamos a relacionar. So remember that this is called grammatical conjunctions. As always, tell to my students, se les va a olvidar la terminología conjunctions. Even to me, I forgot la terminología conjunctions. No me la puedo. Sin embargo, you are going to use it by your own way. Automáticamente la van, a, la van utilizando en su futuro. Okay. The weather is nice. It's a big city, but it's not too big. It's a big city. It's not too big, though. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. Okay, so if you pay attention, we already used the four. It's an exciting city and the weather is nice. Es muy emocionante y el clima. It's a big city, but el típico pero, eh? ya basta de pero, dicen los hombres siempre. Lo dicen, no, ya no hay mucho pero con eso. Okay, <laughs> okay, so it's a big city, but it's not too big, pero. Something negative, right? Algo negativo. Pero, pero. I want to go, but I have to take care of my kids, of my children. I want to go, but I have a study. Ya están en la edad estas chicas, las niñas. Sí quiero ir, pero tengo que estudiar para el examen. Okay. Ya de las señoras, gracias a Dios no tengo hijos, pero mis amigas sería. But I have to take care of my children. But well, now. We use AND to connect two positive or two negative ideas. Pay attention to that. Connection. There are two different ideas, okay? Connect two ideas. It could be positive or it could be negative, right? Okay. For example, the city is ugly and small. Canada is a big country and very clean. Okay. It is used for both. Yes, could be used for negative or for, for positive in some way. 
So the city is ugly and small. Be fair. Ugly and mm. Canada is a big country and very clean. Most of the time, the majority of the uses you could put it end with uh, something positive. Mm. I don't usually use it for something negative. It depends on the context, right? Now. Teacher Pam. Mm -hmm. uh, refresh the meaning of thoughts and however. So it means aunque. And um. ha however it means in embargo. Okay, thank you. No worries. Notice there are two ideas in each sentence which are joined by the conjunction and. Therefore, we can give more or extra information. More or extra information. One thing is to say, hmm, Canada is a big country. Period. Okay. And very clean. Extra information. Did you notice which punctuation goes before and? That's right. A comma. Let's okay. Guys, como les decía en la clase anterior, it is very important the punctuation, even in Spanish and also in English. It is very important the punctuation. And maybe that could be something bad, something that I'm going to do, but I did it before. It is an extra knowledge of grammar. Es un extra conocimiento de gramática. Okay. So, okay, quiero que me lea Israel. Okay. Could you please read this? Esto en negrito. Alto, alto, alto. Voy a explicar esto porque it is necessary that you always take care of the punctuation. Even a coma can change everything. Incluso una coma. Now, could you please read this, uh, Isabel? Microphone, Isabel. There we go. Uh, come on. With that. Oh, man. It's not. Stop. Listen, everyone. A woman without her man is nothing. Chicas, ¿están de acuerdo con ello? No. no All right. Sure. Okay, ¿quién es la poderosa aquí? <laughs> Michelle, Lisette tiene cara de poderosa. Continue. Please read this. Lisette. Okay. A woman without her man is nothing. Puntuation is powerful, ¿ok? Can you see both? Es exactamente la misma oración y viene el niño, el nombrecito, a woman. Una mujer sin su hombre, it's nothing. Pero venimos, the powerful, oh, come on, baby. ¿Ok? A woman, without her, man is nothing. So, puntuation is very powerful. Es la misma situación, ¿verdad? ¿Ok? Just to make it an emphasis, and why I'm making this emphasis? Because as it says here, it is important to use the comma here. The city is ugly, comma, and is small. Please do not forget about punctuations and grammar things. Okay. Una coma lo hace, uff, incluso en el español, chicos, que se entienden los mensajes de texto. ¿Por qué no le pusiste coma? ¿Por qué no le pusiste punto? No sé si les ha pasado. But yes. Okay. No, let me see. That's right, a comma. Let's talk about the conjunction but. This one connects a positive idea with a negative one, and it goes in the... Did you hear that? A positive idea with a negative idea. Okay, as I was telling you before, yes. Uh, Lisette, Tanya, and I don't know who, no, Liz, Tanya, no. I don't know who was the other girl. Yes, Michelle, yes, and Michelle, yes. They want to go to the party, but they have to study for the midterm exam. Okay, para el parcial. But, yes, they are going to go to the party, el papá dice, but first, she has to get good grades. Pero tiene, primero tiene que dar las calificaciones. So, yes, positive and negative. Now, I was explaining to another group before, Okay, that's also about perception. For example, Isael, do you like to play soccer? Yes or no? Do you like to play soccer? Yes, I do. Okay, a él le gusta jugar fútbol. 
perception. Let's going to listen to this one. I love my job. I just I have many things there. I can eat anytime. And also I have air conditioner, but I have to play soccer. Okay. For me, it's negative. Porque no me gusta el fútbol. Pero me obligan a estar en el equipo de fútbol porque para integrarme. They are just taking it. I have to play soccer because if it's not, they are just going to reject you. And Israel comes, guys, I love my job. I have air conditioner. I have food. And I can also have, uh, I can also play soccer. And, yes, and I have to play soccer. Besides that, I can, I have to play soccer. Y aparte de eso, tengo que jugar a fútbol para integrarme. So it's great. Okay. For him, was another perception. And yes, it was a positive. For me, that was a negative thing, okay? The other thing, for example, for me, I'm a teacher and I don't like to, I love to teach, but I don't like to teach on nights, okay? I love to teach, but I don't like to teach on nights. No me gusta enseñar por las noches, okay? By the other hand, it could be, Tanya could be a teacher. I love to teach and I love to teach on nights because I don't like to teach on mornings and I love to teach. Okay. Now, perception, guys, also. Now, questions on to the moment? Preguntas hasta el momento. Si lo van tomando más que todo para allá, perdón por hablarlo en español, no se enfoquen tanto en las palabras conjunctions. Que eso es que a uno se le olvida, incluso como maestro, ¿cómo se llama estas cosas que se dice el but y el it and end? Y se nos olvida. It's just, guys, you just have to focus, you just have to listen. Even automatically, you are just going to tell it, you are just going to speak it, and you are going to know when do you are you going to use but. Eso es nato, es automático. Por ejemplo, en una simple conversación, I could say like, guys, let's go to the pizza party. Va a venir uno tan sencillo como ustedes. No teacher I can, but I, I don't have car. Inmediatamente me dicen, es que no tengo carro para. I want, but I don't have car. Automáticamente me lo dijo usted solito. Así, así de sencillo. So no worries, guys. It's everything called that. In the middle of a sentence. And a coma. Okay, listen to that. It's in the middle on the sentence. Uh, coma. Goes before the conjunction as well. Coma comes the, the conjunction before. Okay. It is not necessary to write all the rule. Just remember about it. Ah, siempre. It is obviously that if you are expressing an idea, there has to become a coma. Si siempre están esperando una idea, aprendan a redactar y vienen en Spanish. Así se redacta. Okay. So it is coma and then comes the um the, ¿cómo se llama? the conjunction. Yes, conjunction. Always coma because you are telling two ideas here. You are connecting the park is clean. Coma. It is very small, but it's very small. Okay. Questions, questions. Mm -hmm. No. No, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Solo un niño hay hoy. Sí, solo esa lo tenemos de niño. Ah, ya jugué, pero Joel no se muestra. Sí. Vayan, chiquitos. Okay. Vayan, niños. So, let's go to continue here. Uh, could you please read this? Let me see. No, oh, yes, señor. Okay, uh, Mrs. Janet Peña, go ahead. Could you please read this? This one. The food is good. Sorry. The food is okay. good, but it is, it is very expensive. Okay, now I should say this one because I want to let you know, guys. Uh, sometimes that is uh, always happen. Usually it is common that they say the food, the food is good. Guys, please don't do that. No me hagan hacer eso. El food es un pie, okay? So the food 
is not good. The food is not delicious. I love to eat food. Please, amo comer pies. No, okay. Yes. <laughs> I mean, a no ser que, no, mejor no digo nada. But yes, y los que entendieron, entendieron. Okay, so, but it's very expensive, yes. So the food, food, the park is clean, but, but it's very small, very small, okay. Coma, and then comes this conjunction. Two but. different ideas. Now, let's go to see the next one. Okay. But. Follow me in these examples. The park is clean but it is very small. The food is good, but it is very expensive. We have two conjunctions left, though and however. These two conjunctions are also used to connect a positive idea with a negative one, but they go at the end of the sentence. Take a look. It's a big city. It's not too crowded, though. He is really good looking, He's not nice, however. Okay, guys. Um, if you check here, ¿qué significa po? Okay. 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 Excellent. And however. Sin embargo. Sin embargo. Okay. There you go. Uh, just let me take a look at something because I'm not uh, I'm not agree with something. However, order. Okay, okay. Before. Okay, okay, okay. End of the sentence. However. Connect. Sentence. Um, okay, yes, there you go. So, okay, yes. I'm not agree with something that it says here, okay? Because I already found some examples. I always, me, at least me, I always use however in the middle of the sentence. Yo en lo personal se utiliza así. Because it's really confused for me. I don't know you guys. Because it says he's really good looking. He's not nice, however. For me, it's very confusing. So, this say that it, you have to use it at the end of the sentence. However, <laughs> you can also use it at the middle one, yes? For example, I just already found some examples here. Rápido los encontré porque no estaba de acuerdo. Okay. Um, let me see. Uh, let me see, scientists disagree with this theory. Okay, scientists disagree with this theory. Okay, lo voy a escribir acá. Gosh, ¿dónde estás? Ahí estás. Ok, no hagan caso a esto. Hagan caso mismo. Scientist. Ok, yes, scientist disagree. Disagree with this. Ok. Never. It's never been proven it's never okay take a, take a look at this guys en el video dijeron una cosa no lo niego si se puede ocupar de diferentes maneras okay however we can use it in a different way scientists or científicos disagree no están de acuerdo disagree with this theory coma however yes coma it has never been proven yet. No ha sido, no ha sido demostrado. Probado. The, the thing is that, I, exactly, that's something that I want to avoid. Uh, quiero ir porque nosotros decimos no ha sido probado. Entonces, realmente debería ser demostrado o comprobado. Will be comprobado. That's something bad that if we translate directly. Créame que no es fácil traducirlo. O agarrar el contexto. Okay. Now, it's never been proven. Oh, it been. Okay, so the thing that I want to mention here, it is by the difference that you were checking here. The video says that it goes at the end. However, we can do it also at the middle, as I did it before. You see? Let's going to do this. He's really looking good. 
really good looking. However, he's not nice. Yeah. He's really. It's really good looking. It's really good looking. However, it's not nice. Okay. You can do it both of this. Las que estaban en el ejemplo anteriormente. Okay. There you go. Okay. So you can do this, both of this. Así como está aquí. He's really good looking. Okay. He's not nice, coma. Which I don't know you, but I feel confused with this. I make confund un poquito con el final. So I would prefer he's really looking good, coma. However, coma, he's not nice. Okay. I don't know if you have any questions until now. Please, please. Okay, so if you don't have any questions, you're going to do one sentence. Uh, with however and one sentence with but. With but and however. Con este tono le voy a decir que son los más fáciles. Okay.
Okay, guys, you already finished? Okay, who already finished or who wants to participate, you can raise your hand. Okay, Michelle, go ahead. Okay. Michelle. When... Yes. Example. Yes, right now it's just going to be Michelle. And then Artelos me levantado la mano. Michelle is the first one and Rosa is the next one. Okay. First Michelle, go ahead. And then you continue, no worries. Okay. Uh, with but um, I would like to travel, but I don't I don't have money. Okay, excellent, very good. I would like to travel, but I don't have uh, yes, I don't know. There you go, excellent, excellent. Okay, now uh, let's continue with Rosa. Go ahead. This computer is cheap, however, it supports perfectly. Excellent, very good, excellent. Okay, that was Rosa, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. Stania, go ahead. Uh, I like children, but I don't want to be pregnant again. Um, <laughs> okay, excellent. My dog is cute. My dog is cute. However, it is dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty. Ah, it's yeah. sucio, it's sucio. Okay. It's yeah. sucio. Okay, who was the other person that wanted to participate? I think that was, let me see, close him. Lorena, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, he's really good looking, however, he's not nice. Or he's nice, however, he looks shy. And the other, um, I am in class, uh, I am in English class, but I am tired. Ok, 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 ok. Excelente. ¿Quién más quiere participar? Que alguien le, le corte. No me acuerdo. Yo, yo, Ana. Eh, Ana. Continue, go ahead. Eh, eh, with but. Eh, eh, she is really pretty, but is small. Eh, he is amazing, told he is ugly. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You are just describing the person. <laughs> okay. Mucho físico. Okay, there you go. Excellent. We're going to pass on Chico. Chico que no he pasado. Esa ya la ha pasado. There you go. Vamos a ver. Joel, no se esconda. Come on, go ahead. Sorry, teacher, but I'm working right now. But I don't turn on the camera. Okay, so you're working now? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and continue working. Bye, Carrillo, continue working then. Yeah, okay. don't worry. And I I tell you my example. No worries, no worries. I uh, just reported on the chat. Reported on the chat que no pudo hacer algo. Y, yeah, tranquilo, no, 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 I have a time right now. And write uh, two example. Okay, got it. Okay, the first one. Uh, I don't like pizza, but why? Because my children like it. No. Excellent. And the other one? Uh, I watch a movie. However, I don't like this. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Okay. Very good, guys. So I think that there is no questions regarding to that. So we're going to continue. We're going just to continue with this. And... Let's go and keep on with Rosa de la Pasamos. Michelle, Seth, ¿cómo se llama esta chica? Carla. Go ahead, Carla. Let's go and continue with the exercise. Could you please read this? In your oh, to... okay. The, the read? Yes, just read it. Okay. Uh, number, number one, taping is very nice. Everyone is extreme extremely friendly okay now which is the correct i think i think second tapely is very nice but everyone is extremely friendly i okay. don't know yeah no it's okay yeah, it's okay but... okay just let, let me just uh, interrupt a little bit that's what i wanted to say um 
regarding to um, perception, right? Perception, in this case, type A, remember that el but, we use it for, we use it for the negative things, okay? Type A is very nice, but everyone, it's extremely friendly. Uh, for example, when Olga Tanyon came, me acuerdo que le estaban ayudando como el writer, mejor amiga, so she is not friendly. So she could say, El Salvador is very nice, but everyone is extremely friendly. Porque no soportaba ver ella a nadie, no quería ninguna foto con nadie, nadie. Olga Tanyon. Yes, and that's true. So for her, that was a problem, okay? But everyone is extremely friendly. Extremely friendly, it is not a problem, right? Todos son extremadamente sociales o amigables. That's not a problem. Type A is very nice. And, uh -huh. and very, everyone is extremely friendly. Porque, teacher, pero se supone que también son para positivas. Guys, remember that N, it could be joined for two positives or two negatives. Or, I'm sorry, or for negatives. It could be used for positive or negatives. Okay? The but is just used for negative, which it doesn't make sense to use this. No tiene sentido de decir type A is very nice, but everyone is extremely friendly. A no ser que a usted no le gustara socializar, como Olga Daniel, entre otros artistas. Okay, there you go. The next one, Jessly, no la ha pasado. Okay, go ahead, number two. The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around. Okay, the streets are crowded. Get a what crowded, chicos? Es saturado, como lleno, abarrotado. Exactly. Multitud, conglomerado. Yes, excellent, very good. Es lo que les decía que cuesta un poquito porque no ocupamos esta palabra, vea, aglomerado, saturado, etc. Somos mal hablados. Decimos que estamos llenos y eso no es correcto. Okay, the streets are crowded, <laughs> which would be the correct, yes, Lee? The second sentence. Could you read it, please? The streets are crowded. It's easy to get around crowd. Mm -hmm. Excellent. There you go. Yes, because remember that it says wow, and it goes at the end. It's como decir, aunque, estamos en una excepción, ¿verdad? Aunque, it's easy to get, to get around. Yes, excellent. Because it says, the streets are crowded and it's easy to get around. It doesn't make sense even on a sentence. No tiene ni sentido, ¿verdad? Okay, so it's this one. At the end, is this correct? Excellent, very good. Okay, let me see who else. Lizette Hernández, ya la pasé, ¿verdad? Jacqueline Orantes. Go ahead, number three. The weather is nice. Very hot. So I get the weather is nice. Usted le da tranquilamente la que le parezca. Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> the weather is nice. Summer gets very hot. Um, Towns where the weather is nice and summer gets very hot. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, what do you guys think? The first one. Why? However, well, for me, <laughs> it's a negative mm -hmm. uh, because I don't have comfortable when uh, it's pretty hot uh, weather. Yes. Yes. 
there you go. Yeah, so as I told you before, it's the up to perception and also that it's better to, to say like that, to use the however, right? That you can use different uh, order. Remember the weather is nice. Okay, so Summers get pretty hot, however, um, or you can use the weather is nice. Yeah, however, yeah. hello? Mm -hmm. Uh, vamos a ver, mutear a todos. I'm sorry. Y quien quiera participar, se mutea solito. Okay. There you go. So you can use also use the weather is nice. Summers get pretty hot, however, or the weather is night. nice. However, summers get pretty hot. Okay. That's up to you guys. Now we're going to continue with, let me see who else. Vamos a ver a Chico. No. A Marcela ya la agarramos, no hemos agarrado a Marcela. Marcela, go ahead. Okay, uh, shopping is great. You have to bargain in the market. For me, uh, the answer is um, shopping is great, but you have to bargain in the markets. Excellent, very good. But, exactly. But, now, I'm just... Um, I'm just thinking about bad plus coma. Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Oh, no question. Um, can you repeat the different food or food, the, the comida, please? Okay. Now listen. It is foot. Así como el football. Por eso se llama football. Porque es balón pie. Okay. And the other is food. Foot, food, foot, hola te, food. Okay, I like to eat, I like to eat food. Okay, no, right? <laughs> In Michelle, she imagine it's just, she already understood. Okay, uh, it is I like to eat food. Okay, I like food or I like food. Hmm? Thank you. Okay, there you go, excellent. Now, Food is delicious, okay. And um, there you go. No, King. Ah, well, you have to go to the chico, no me acuerdo. No, Ana, hay una Ana. Ana, usted no participado. Go ahead, Ana. Okay. If it's not, Isael, se llama Noel. Isael, go ahead. Okay. The food is delicious. It's not too expensive. Uh, for me, it's, the food is delicious. And it's not too expensive. Excellent, very good. Now, guys, I just have a doubt here. Excellent, you did it great. The food is delicious. Now, everybody, please repeat with me, delicious. 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 Excellent. Expensive. 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 Excellent. Bargain. 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 Excellent. Uh, shopping. 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 Okay. Weather. 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 Okay. Pretty. 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 Okay. Crowded. 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 Streets. Street. Street. Streets. 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 Remember to do the T. Streets. 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 Excellent. Street. Get around. Get around. Get around. Get around. Get around. Extremely. 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 Once again, extremely. Extremely. Everyone. Everyone. Friendly. Friendly. Okay. Now, I just have uh, some doubts here, to be honest. Miss, okay, let me see. Miss, what do you mean bargain or uh, bargain? Negociar. Okay. So, it is better, but you have to bargain. Okay. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay. 
Now, uh, let me see the first place. Just it's not too expensive. Okay, there you go. No questions until this moment, guys. No. No. Okay, excellent. Remember, solo recordatorio que a veces también la coma lo puede cambiar todo, ¿verdad? Porque probablemente yo les he dado una mala respuesta porque tal vez pudo haber sido utilizado en porque si le faltó la coma, ya estamos mal. Okay, there you go. Now, we're going to see something about should and can. Okay. Teacher, el, 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 todo y However, um, it's, it's correct uh, use uh, in el medio, el medio, uh, yes. y al, al final. Yes. Yes. Amba forma. Yes, it could be like at the end or the middle one. Yes. Okay. Thank you. That's up to you. Okay. Now let's going to continue. There are some models. It is called models, and we're going to see exactly what is it about. En, no, no crean que están ciegos, sino que la resolución es un poco mala. Can. What would you like to know? Modal verbs, which are being introduced in this audio program. Also, it is recommended for you to practice this conversation with someone else. Can you tell me a little about Mexico City? Sure I can. What would you like to know? Well, what's a good time to visit? I think you can go anytime. The weather is always nice. Oh, good. And what should I see there? Well, you should definitely visit the National Museum and go to the Palace of Fine Arts. And what else? Oh, you shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. It's very interesting. It all sounds really exciting. Excellent. Very good. Now, vamos a ver. Ok, vamos a continuar con esto porque me interesa más que avancemos en los models. Eso fue una conversación. Ok, so it says in this session, models, words, can and should will be taught in order to ask and answer questions. Ok, ok, guys, remember that can can, you, can be used for different things such as a noun, como un objeto, ¿verdad? Uh, un sustantivo, or can be used also as a verb, or it could be used as an uh, what, or as a model. Permission okay. or no? Hmm? Uh, we can use can like a permission. Yes, yes. Also, can you play soccer? Yes, I can. I can play soccer. Yes. Okay. Can you help me? Ya también es un model. Can you help me, please? Ahí aplica como model. Ok, depende del contexto. There you go. Can and should. Subject plus model verb. Those are called model verbs. Model verbs show a speaker's attitude or mood. We can also use them to ask for and give advice. Stay with us as we will explain them. Mood or can we use also to give it an advice? Okay. El, no puede ser mood ahorita. Okay. Uh, el mood, well, let's going to continue. Oh, una, un, ¿cómo que se llama esto? Um, oh, come on. Con el chip on. Consejo. Consejo. O advice. El, ajá, advice is consejo. And the mood, como le digo, como le digo. I, I don't remember right now. I do apologize. Ah, it's a style of the animal. Modal verbs can and should. What can I do in Mexico City? You can see the Palace of Fine Arts. You can't visit some museums on Mondays. What should I see there? You should visit the National Museum. You shouldn't miss the Pyramid of the Sun. Okay. In this case, it is asking us any WH questions. Remember that with all WH questions, we use uh, the WH plus an auxiliary, usually, uh, plus subject and the verb, for example. What did I eat today? What 
did I eat? Se lo imaginen, se vea. Today, ok. Where did you play soccer? Instead of the, uh, of the auxiliary, en vez del auxiliar es la misma oración. We add a this, um, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, a model, yes. What can I do in Mexico? So it says, you can see the Palace of Fine Arts. Es bien lindo ese. Okay. But you can't visit some museums on Mondays. Pero no puedes. Okay. It's not saying that it's something about permission. It's just that it's not allowed to do that. No es permitido. Y le está comentando lo que no puede hacer. What should I do? I'm sorry, what should I see there? Dame un consejo que debería ir. Because, for example, we just think maybe when we go to Mexico, we just think about the pyramids. Tal vez solo pensamos en eso, en las pirámides. But here it says, you should visit the National Museum. Okay? The National Museum. Debería ser lindo. Okay? You should visit esta catedral, no me recuerdo cómo se llama. Que todos quieren venir la, la catedral, but well. Okay? That you shouldn't miss the pyramids of the sun. Okay? Y no te deberías perder de ir a las pirámides de, I don't know, of the sun. Okay? This may sense. Del, pirámides del sol. Del sol. Okay, thank you. Okay, so it's just um, making an advice. It's just doing an advice. Here, it wasn't possible. Since it says it can't, you can't, it is not possible. Okay, those are the models. Who else is wanting the moment? Okay. Uh, uh, should, should, uh, is, uh, is for advice. For advice. Advice, chicos, significa consejos, niños. Y, y, y quién es, es um, como poder o no poder? Um, it's, more than a, it's more a model. En este caso puede ser como un model. What can I do? Yes. Acción. Acción. Or in this case, or verbs can and should. Yes, puede ser tanto como un verbo como un model. Remember about that. Okay, yes. What can I do que puedo hacer? Yes, in use is an action. But as I always tell you, it also depends of the, uh, of the context. For example, if I say, or if I ask, Joel, could you please help me? Or can you please help me? Okay, it is a model in that case. So it depends on the context. Okay, we'll talk about the model verbs can and should. This is how we'll use it in a question. WH question word plus model verb plus subject plus verb plus question mark. Where should we go? And this is how we use it in a positive sentence. Subject plus modal verb plus verb plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject. Okay, guys. We should go to plus modal verb. Hold on, please. This is how we use it in a positive sentence. It is obviously do not memorize the formals. No se memoricen las fórmulas o las estructuras. Just as a simple uh, by logic, okay? All the sentences are start with a subject, obviously. And the rest is just a model, okay? We can go. We're going to go, etc. ¿Se recuerdan que antes utilizaban en las oraciones eh, algo que se me va auxiliar? Where did you go? Okay, ¿se recuerdan eso? We... Uh, we went or we played, etc. So here it is a positive. We, instead of say, we played or we go, okay, we will go. Aquí solamente añadimos esto poquito. We should go. Deberíamos. We should go to the museum. Okay. It's just here. Subject. It doesn't make sense to say, 
we go should. All right. Es como aquí que deberíamos. We should go. Okay. Now, let's continue. Plus modal verb, plus verb, plus complement. We should go to a museum. This is how we use it in a negative sentence. Subject plus modal verb. Okay. We should not. Así como vayamos, we do not. I'm not going. I did not. We should not. Okay. There you go. We should not go. Okay. Plus not, plus verb, plus complement. We shouldn't go to a museum. It is important to know. ¿Por qué digo shouldn't? ¿Por qué digo shouldn't? Y no should not. Because it's negative. It's a contraction. Ah, yeah. <laughs> excellent. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. There you go. Notice the models do not take a final S and neither does the main verb. He should go to a museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Did you notice? There's no change on. He should go to the museum. Maria shouldn't drink. Models do not take final S and either does not the main verb. Okay. For example, he is a third person, guys. See? Ya hemos dicho que siempre que hay una tercera persona, se le añadimos la S. She goes, etc. But it doesn't have a, a S here. Y de hecho, uh, let me see. Let me see, let me see. She does go. Yes, she does play. Ya he escuchado así como una oración que diga, she does play soccer. Sí, como afirmándola. Ok, the same here. Como primero lo que le estoy diciendo. She does play soccer. ¿Se recuerdan que yo les decía? Bueno, ustedes no, disculpen. She does, y ya una vez que está aquí el auxiliar, ya no se va a poner la S acá. ¿Se recuerdan esto? The same here. Es como que fuera un auxiliar, pero es un model. He should go. No van a decir, he should go, right? Transmisión. María shouldn't. Y no va a decir drink, pero teacher is third, third person. Yes, guys, pero imagínense que esto sería como un auxiliar. Ya les está diciendo automáticamente todo. So, it is not necessary. And with the models, you don't do that. No sé si esto con los models tampoco hacen un énfasis en ello. Ok. Miss, yes. I have a question. Yes. Uh, in, this, in this case, he should uh, go to the museum. But uh, mm -hmm. si fuese el negativo, diga, he shouldn't go. ¿Siempre se mantendría o habría que cambiarlo? ¿Siempre se mantendría o habría que cambiarlo? Ajá, la pregunta. Si es shouldn't, ¿habría que cambiarlo a go o quedaría siempre go? Oh, well, I mean, shouldn't go lo está utilizando como moral, moral. Mm. Ajá, por eso pregunto. So you can use he should go or he sh or he shouldn't go. For example, mm -hmm. you should go to what? To me a place that is touristic here. Ah, imagínense, Luisito comunica. Hey, Luisito comunica. You should go to let me see, laberinto. Es ahí fuera. Or lago Cuatepeque. Yes, it's just an example. Or you should visit uh, Mercadito de Merliot. Yes, but you shouldn't visit Mercado Central. Mm -hmm. Yes, why? Because if he wants to buy something and if he wants to see something new, el Mercadito de Merliot creo que es el más variadito, así diferente, ¿verdad? So you should go to the Mercadito de Merliot, you should visit. But please, you shouldn't visit Mercado Central. Why? <laughs> Yes, exactly. I prefer to see the Macau Central. <laughs> I, I prefer to, but when my dad was here, I mean, it was super cool for me. I, I don't know you guys, but yo siempre iba con mi papá. Creo no, no, mi papá le gustaba ir bastante. Y sí, me compraba poliadas y cosas así cuando estaba chiquita. Pero luego me está volviendo peligroso y ya no me quiso llevar. 
Mat mau. Oke. Teacher, so, teacher, a question. Eh, ¿Dónde va a subir la regla para usar los adverbios y los adjetivos? Ah, ah, la, las reglas. Ok, ok. Lástima que no eh, o, o, o nos la pueden enviar a, al, WhatsApp, al grupo de WhatsApp. Yes, ok, 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 ok. Yeah, sure. Ok, I'm just, at least me recordó porque ya le iba a eliminar eso. Ok, ok. Cool. I will send it to you in the please, WhatsApp. Please, eh, no worries. No sé si estoy de hecho en un grupo de WhatsApp. No lo sé. Sí, estoy. Yes. Okay. Can someone yeah, write a text? In the, in the class. <clears throat> Todos los integrantes de la clase just, estamos en ese grupo. Okay. Okay. If I'm there, just please text and I'm just going to see if I get a message. Alguien tiene que estar ahí ahorita mismo a ver si consigo tener un mensaje ahí. Info del grupo. Elena. Jonathan, Lorena. Eh, solo en el grupo que alguien te esté para ver si estoy. No, no estoy entonces. Es que hay que, hay que unirse. Ok, I think that would be better. I'm just going to do something. Ok, you know what? Oh, come on, no. Let me see what can I do. But I'm not in tanto grupitos. So let me see what can I do. No worries, guys. So right now we're going to end with this. It is 10 3 6 p.m. So goodbye, everyone. Take care, guys. Si quiere, él le pasó ahorita el link del grupo aquí en el, en el chat. Porque okay, me lo mandaron por correo. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Es que ayer no pude conectar y le escribí y no me contestó. A mí no. No, es que no está en el grupo. Entonces yo escribí en el grupo. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Uh, nadie me ha mandado todavía aquí. O oh, bueno, ¿saben qué? No sé si aquí lo puedo mandar de un solo. Michael, desordenador. Ok. Yo creo que aquí puede ser de un solo. Ok, just hold on, guys. Ok, 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 ok. Yo se lo mandé, teacher. Ok, just hold on. Let me just take a look on something. No puede ser. Open. Guys, I think that I missed this file. Yes. Let me see. Ah, oh, no, I didn't. No worries. Ok, ahorita mismo se los voy a pasar. Uh, save as. I don't know cómo guardarlo. Uh, ¿Qué eran estos de, de los que vimos ayer? Los adverbs, vea. Adverbs. Ok. The rule. Yes. Grammatical rules. Ok, there you go. Adverbs in download. And there you go. You can guys just take a look on this one also. Okay. Let me see if we get this one. No se los mande. Ah, bueno, no se les cayó. Okay, ahorita voy entonces a meterme a esto. There you go. Unirme al chat. Okay, no está instalado. Ah, don't worry. Lo voy a hacer desde caso. I just going to send a message to someone. Okay. I do apologize, yes, ma'am. I do apologize, guys. Thank you for that. It's like a typical center. <laughs> okay. No le des. Okay, perfect, guys. Step in one, three. Okay. So, see you guys. Take care. Good night. E well, have a good see day. You. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care. Bye.